Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Attila and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Postgres with the PG Vector extension locally on your computer using Docker. I'm going to start a Docker container that uses an image which already includes PG, uh, Postgres and PG Vector. And more specifically we are using PG, uh, Postgres 17. So that is what I'm going to do. The name of the container will be PG database. I'm using an environment variable for the Postgres password. And uh, as I said, we are going with an image that is containing PG vector already. So let's run this and uh, it will pull the image and uh, start the container as well. You can just run the Docker PS command to make sure that the container is running. And now you can run queries against Postgres. So you can use bSQL, which is the, a command line tool to run queries and interact with the Postgres instance. So you can uh, do this uh, and then run any kind of uh, queries against Postgres. What I will be using for this video and for the following videos is a database manager called dBeaver. Normally I recommend using uh, some database management software because in my experience it just makes it easier and quicker to run queries against a database instance. But if you don't want to install something like dBeaver, you can just uh, use a psql, that's fine as well. One final thing I wanted to show you before actually installing the extension in Postgres is uh, if you're using something like dBeaver for, for interacting with your Postgres instance, you will need the host address of uh, your Docker container of the Postgres instance. And you can get the host address using the Docker uh, instance command. So you can just run Docker inspect under the name of the container, in this case, PG database. And then this will give you a bunch of data points, information about your container. And uh, the one that we care about now is the IP address. So this will be the host address for your Postgres. This is what you need to define when you are connecting to Postgres using, uh, for example, dBeaver. All right, so at this point we have Postgres with a PG vector. We can now run queries against this Postgres instance, but uh, you still need to enable this extension. So we will run the create extension command and then define vector uh, because that's the uh, name of the extension within Postgres. So let's just run this, this enable the extension. And now we can actually use the, the keywords and commands defined by PG vector. So first uh, let's create a table. So this table will have two columns. First is a primary key uh, column. And then the other column is the, the more relevant column for us right now, the vector column. So this column will be called embedding. And then this is how we define uh, a vector uh, column. And uh, the number here means the number of dimensions to use for this column. So because we define three as the number of dimensions, we will be able to store vectors in this column with uh, three dimensions, which just means that there will be three values in each vector. Now let's see what that looks like in practice. So let's quickly run an insert query and then a qu uh, select query. So we are inserting two records into this table and then run a similarity search query. So first of all, let's look at the operator. So we are using uh, this operator, which is an L2 distance operator. So we are calculating the distance uh, or the similarity between this vector and then these vectors. Because you see the order by keyword, we are ordering by similarity. So the first result, which is, uh, which is this one, will be the vector that is the most similar to the other vector that we are comparing against. So that is how it works in very short uh, we're going to go deeper in the next video. Uh, so that's all I had to share today and uh, see you in the next one. Bye.